Hey, thanks for joining me again for another 3D video in Blender. So at this point we have now completed our space exploration series which you can now check out as a full playlist on the channel. But this week we're actually kicking off a brand new series of creating models for a farming simulation game. This is one I've actually been really excited about because a few months ago I started playing Stardew Valley which I've had a ton of fun with. I really love all the cool personalization you can do with your farm and your crops and your animals as well as exploring the town and finding new stuff and just the anticipation of your crops growing and making relationships with the with the non-player characters and everything that's so so fun there's so many intricacies to that game that you could literally play it forever plus the game is extremely easy to pick up and it's relaxing and entertaining at the same time so without any further ado we're going to start this series off by creating a small section farm plot uh, with some crops to go with it so let's go ahead hop into blender open up a brand new session and we'll get started so the first thing that we want to do is create a small block of land with some rows of soil. So we're actually going to start off with the default cube as the block of land. And it's kind of going to just be one of those floating blocks for now. Maybe later on you can link them together to create a larger plot. But for now, let's just create a kind of a 3D sample of what we're going for. I want to keep the ground block and the rows separate. So like I said, we're going to be uh, using a cube for the ground and we're going to use cylinders for the rows. Then I could add loop cuts or subdivide the cube to give it a little bit more variation and use the, the vertices to kind of make it a little bit less uniform. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is add a fence to the plot. And there are a ton of different fence designs to choose from, and I'm sure in a video game uh, it would be good to have choices between wood and stone and brick walls and certain things like that, but for this what we're going to do is have a rustic stick type fence. So that's just going to be large uh, stick kind of logs that are going to be vertical, uh, as well as uh, a couple of more small sticks that are vertical and then a couple going across. So I'm going to do that by modeling a few different sticks. Um, and then we're going to use those and scale them around to build the fence. So we're only going to need to make a couple of models to then make the fence out of multiple different sticks.
right, now that we have those done, let's go ahead and give it some color. Because they're sticks and dirt, they're going to end up being brown, but we're going to see if we can mix it up a little bit and give it some variation to make it look good. Okay, this is a pretty good stopping point because the next things that we need to model are crops. These are going to be a little bit more involved and I'm going to save them for the next video. So make sure that you look out for that. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or requests for future videos, please leave that down in the comment. I would really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel just to let me know that you guys are liking the content. And please, if you have any friends that are getting into 3D design or want to learn about either video games or making 3D environments, please share this video with them. I would really appreciate it. All right, again, thank you so much. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.